George Stevenson and the Daly Brothers were responsible for the massacre of five people at Burgate House and the New Forest in 1986. Born in 1951, George Francis Stevenson had spent many years in jail for various crimes, including theft and burglary, violence and drugs, and on one occasion he was arrested for beating up on a policeman after resisting arrest. He met Fiona in the autumn of 1985. It was a whirlwind romance. Within two weeks, the couple were married. July 1986. Life at Burgate House in Fording Bridge within the New Forest had become difficult for Joseph Cleaver. He needed extra help around the house. He had already hired a housekeeper and a gardener and they had the services of a live-in nurse. But they also needed a handyman and a cook. Joseph placed an ad in the local paper for the live-in position. George and Fiona Stevenson were appointed, living in a small cottage on the grounds of the Seven Acre Estate. August 1986. Only weeks after starting their new jobs, Stevenson's wife left him after he repeatedly beat her. The family, and in particular Joseph, did not approve of this type of behaviour and they sacked him for the beating and for his repeated drunkenness. Meanwhile, Stevenson and some friends had planned to rob a wages office in Nuneaton. Stevenson knew that the Cleavers had guns and ammunition within the house and after being sacked, decided he would take his revenge by stealing the guns. 1st of September 1986. Stevenson knew the family routine very well. He also knew that they would leave a front door key in the porch so as not to be disturbed during dinner. Dinner was at 8pm sharp every evening. The gang entered the house, complete with balaclavas, at just after 8pm. They went to the dining room where the family were having their dinner. They threatened them with a gun and pickaxe handles, demanding the ladies take off their jewellery and forcing the men to hand over their wallets, containing a total of £70. They then marched the family, Joseph and Hilda Cleaver, both aged 82, their son Thomas, aged 47, and his wife Wendy, aged 46, as well as the f ageing family nurse, 70-year-old Margaret Murphy, who had worked with the family for over 50 years. They were all marched upstairs, where they were tied up and gagged in one of the bedrooms. The gang then searched the house. They stole a TV, a video recorder and some other small valuables, several guns and ammunition, as well as a lot of alcohol taken from the cocktail cabinet. During the robbery, the gang ransacked the house, looking for anything to steal. They were obviously looking for a safe, as pictures on the walls were all now at an angle, had obviously been moved. There was, a fa in fact, a safe in the room they'd set fire to, but they never found it. When the post-mortem of Joseph Cleaver was being carried out, they found £700 cash st stashed away in his false leg, he allegedly kept it there in case of robbery or theft. After this, the gang returned upstairs. Taking Wendy to another room, they then took it in turns to rape her, while the others watched on. At the instructions of Stevenson, one of his accomplices, John Daly, then strangled her with a pair of tights. The gang then returned to the room where the others were, doused the family in petrol and threw in a fire lighter and left, leaving the family to burn to death. 2nd of September 1986, at 10.30am, the gardener and housekeeper arrived for work to find smoke coming out of the bedroom window. They entered to find the dining room still with unfinished food, the house a complete mess, and the family dog a poodle whimpering and injured, having been hurt during the ruckus. Unfortunately, the dog was so badly injured, it later had to be put down. The gardener, Edgar Stubbings, realised that something was wrong and went to call the police, but unfortunately the telephone lines had been cut. 
They went upstairs where they could hear the family's other dogs scratching at the door. They opened the door and saw Wendy Cleaver naked and dead. They looked to the master bedroom. Smoke was coming from under the door and there was a glow. The fire was still burning. After finding it too hot to enter, the couple ran from the house. They drove to the local police station to report the crime. After the fire brigade had calmed the flames, police started a search of the house. They found letters in the house from the Stevensons applying for the job at the house. They went to the property in Bournemouth, where Stevenson had been staying, and found the Cleaver's TV and other items, but Stevenson was nowhere to be found. A huge national TV and press story followed with a national manhunt. Stevenson's wife, Fiona, called in to the police after seeing it on TV to report that she had nothing to do with it and she hadn't seen him for a long time. Two days later, Stevenson handed himself in, saying he'd been in Coventry. But police checked records and found that the payment for a hire car that had been paid by known criminal George Daly and his brother John. Both were later arrested in Coventry. 6th of October 1987. George Francis Stevenson, George Daly and his brother John Daly all denied murder at Winchester Crown Court. Stevenson and George Daly also denied rape and robbery, but John Daly admitted to both of these. 28th of October, 1987, the jury deliberated for just three and a half hours. 36-year-old George Stevenson was found guilty of murdering Mr and Mrs Cleaver, their son Thomas and Mrs Murphy. He was cleared of murdering Wendy Cleaver, but co-defendant John Daly was convicted of this killing. The judge, Mr Justice Hobhouse, ruled that Stevenson should serve six life sentences with a recommendation he serve a minimum 25 years before being considered for parole. 21-year-old John Daly was given seven life sentences after being convicted of the same offences. George Daly, aged 25, was cleared of murder but sentenced to 22 years for rape, robbery and manslaughter. During the trial, it had been revealed that Stevenson had told George Daly that the victims were already dead before the fire was lit. Because of this, George Daly was convicted of manslaughter rather than murder. He served 22 years in prison before being released in 2010. May 2001. Stevenson's sentence was increased to 35 years by the then Home Secretary, Jack Straw. 16th of May 2008. Stevenson appealed to have his sentence reduced by 10 years. The High Court denied Stevenson the right to appeal his sentence and upheld the 2001 sentence imposed by Jack Straw. The ruling means that Stevenson can ask the parole board to free him in 2021. Burgate House was put up for sale sometime after the murders, but with no one wanting to buy it, it was eventually demolished. 16th of March 2021. A parole review for George Francis Stevenson has been referred to the parole board. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.